What the f*** is lusotropicalism? To oversimplify it, lusotropicalism is an ideology that mixes progressivism and ethno-supremacy. But how does it achieve this balance of two opposites? To answer this, we're gonna have to travel back to 1492, when a small Italian guy with a funny hat discovered the New World. This launched the Age of Exploration, where European empires raced to set up dominance in this newfound land. For this topic, the most important colonizer to focus on is Portugal, who colonized the land now known as Brazil, and then later Guinea-Bissau, Angola, and Mozambique during the scramble for Africa, as well as a few Asian city-states. A few centuries later, in 1933, this man wrote a book called Casa Grande and Senzala, a book about race relations and miscegenation, which is a fancy word for race mixing, in Brazil. In his book, he created the theory of lusotropicalism, that the Portuguese were superior colonizers compared to all the other European empires. He justified this viewpoint with two main pieces of evidence. Firstly, due to Portugal's warm climate, the Portuguese were much better suited to live in the New World, which we all know to be a lush paradise from top to bottom. Yeah, this point is obviously very faulty. Secondly, the Portuguese colonists are more humane to native peoples due to occupation from the Moors, Celts, Romans, and others in the past. In fact, lusotropicalism doubles down on this humane viewpoint by actively advocating for miscegenation. While being a bit more valid than the other point, the Portuguese have committed their fair share of acts against humanity during their colonistic reign. However, I will admit that they are much more humane than some other empires throughout history. In addition, believers in lusotropicalism often back up their views by using the fact that Portugal had one of the oldest and longest territorial presences overseas. In my opinion, this is by far the most valid piece of supporting evidence for lusotropicalism as the stability shown could very well indicate Portuguese superiority in the realm of colonization. In conclusion, lusotropicalism is a fun and wacky little piece of niche historical philosophy. And while we might not have colonial empires today, making it an obsolete viewpoint, it's always fun to learn about these little unique gems of our past. This has been Sushi Squad Productions, and I'll see you in the next video.